If you've ever been to the ancient Roman city of Pompeii, outside Naples, Italy, you know it's one of the most astonishing archaeological sites on the planet. In 79 CE, Mount Vesuvius erupted, spewing a cloud of superheated gas and pyroclast 21 miles into the sky. 1.5 million tons per second of molten material rained down over Pompeii and nearby Herculaneum, burying more than 20,000 people and their entire existence beneath 13 to 20 feet of volcanic ash. The eruption was 100,000 times the thermal energy of the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II. Rather than obliterate the cities, the ash preserved them, allowing us a spectacular look at what life was like in the ancient Roman Empire. The remains of more than 1,500 people and animals have been found at Pompeii and Herculaneum, and many are on display, frozen just as they fell, frequently contorted in horrific and agonized poses. Many visitors to Pompeii today think that what they're seeing are the actual bodies, carefully cut out of the ash. But this isn't true. In 1863, Giuseppe Fiorelli, an Italian archaeologist, discovered voids in the ash containing skeletal remains. He quickly realized that these were the spaces left by decomposing bodies. He injected plaster into the cavities, allowing it to harden, and then chipped away the ash around it, leaving behind the gruesome figures. Some of the victims shield their faces against the inferno. Some are prone as if asleep. Others struggle in vain to crawl to freedom. Mothers are seen clutching their children. Not every child died in their parents' embrace. There are even slaves shackled to the wall and unable to flee. Pompeii remains one of the most illuminating and simultaneously haunting places I have ever seen. Stay curious, my friends.